bought a Bible. I bought a Bible. I bought a Bible. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. Okay, what is up, family? So I had told y'all a while ago that I had misplaced my Bible. Um, and I needed to get a new one. So after much searching... Much, much searching. Lots of Google searches, lots of walkthroughs at different bookstores. I finally found a Bible that I liked, courtesy of good old Hobby Lobby. Um, I got an Inspire Bible, and it was actually on sale at the time, so I believe I only paid $23 for this Bible. But from what I saw, you know, the research that I did about it before... I like it. It is um, actually the New Living New Living Translation. That is my favorite kind of Bible because it speaks in plain English. None of the these and the thous and the thines. Just good old plain English. Easy for me to understand and comprehend. So that is the translation of this Bible. So we are going to do a Bible unboxing and do you guys like my pin I got like a whole set of six from a uh, Ross and each one has like a little scriptural saying on it so today we'll be writing with the walk by faith pin so yeah let's crack this Bible open but before we get into that before we open the Bible up I'm gonna start it off with a prayer and I know that not everybody prays Everybody's not at that same place in life, but listen, okay? This is my channel, and I pray. So we're about to open this up with a prayer, all right? So bow your head, close your eyes, open your heart, and let the Lord in. Now, before I start, if you hear pages flipping as I'm praying, know that I write down my prayers before I say them. I feel like... I'm a better writer than I am speaker majority of the time. So I like to write my prayers down before I say them out loud. I know that God doesn't care how you say your prayers and he just wants you to talk to him, but it's a personal thing. I just feel like I want to give him my best. Like I want to come with my best possible prayer that I can give. So I write it down first, a little trial run before I say them. So. Let's get into this prayer. All right, again, close your eyes, bow your head, open your heart. Let the man in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come humbly before that throne of grace, thanking you for this day. Father, I thank you for the blessings you bestow upon me daily and the mercy you grant me every time I fall. Lord, I open my heart and soul up to you in this renewed spiritual journey. I'm about to embark on with you through your word. I thank you for allowing me to finally find a Bible that spoke to me the way that my other one did. And I beg your forgiveness for not holding your word dearly and closely enough to my heart that I was able to lose my other Bible. Your word should be like an extension of my hand and as important to my life and its upkeep as any of my earthly important documents. If I can keep track of my social security card, my birth certificate, and those of my family, I should be able to find your word at all times. Father, as I open this Bible now, I ask that you walk with me through your word and help me to gain understanding of both your word for my life as well as my purpose. I ask these things in all things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Okay, so now that we have prayed, let's open this good old Bible. I'm so excited. And I like that it comes with this little sleeve that you can put it in, you know, for some protection. So, we'll set this to the side for the moment. Here are the, the front of it. Um, the back of it. And the spine, which just says, inspire the Bible for creative journaling. And then even the pages, guys, look how 
they decorated the pages. Aren't these cute? Like all the way around, it's really cute. All right, now we're gonna open it. It's not about what it looks like on the inside. It's about what it has inside. That's most important. Okay, so the first page, as soon as you open it, um, in the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God and the word was God. John 1 and 1. Then, now we get to the part where I need my good old pen. So, crack this bad boy open. Um, to Andrea. From Andrea. The date today is the 13th message. Um, I'm going to skip the message section because I don't know what I want to write in there and hopefully this pen dries so that I don't smear it. But I got I to think about it. Hopefully it'll come to me before this video is over of what I want to put in here. So then I like that all of these pages, as you can see, they're all like black and white um, because this is why I have the good old colored pencils. You are supposed to color these. Like you guys know how they have the adult coloring books and everything now. That's basically what this Bible is. So all of the pages are like this so that as you're reading, through the word, you can also color in the pages and like design your Bible basically. Have some reflective moments because the coloring books that I've used, the adult coloring books that I've used have been very relaxing. And so what better way to have some time with the Lord is while you're relaxing. You're just absentmindedly coloring and talking to the Lord at the same time. So. I think that's pretty genius. So that's part of the reason that I bought this Bible. So again, um, do you have a table of, oh, here we go. So here is the table of contents. They broke it down into Old Testament and New Testament. And then they also have another page over here where they put all the books of the Bible in alphabetical order. Um, Flipping. Um, then they have a little note to the readers as well as explaining to you basically what the New Living Translation is all about. So, oh, it's a nice little reading. Somebody longer you. All right. All right, and so then after you get um, out of their little it's explanation of the New Living Translation, they talk about all the people who helped to translate the Bible. And then bam, we head straight into the Old Testament. Um, I'm trying to decide what page I want to color first. Like I might go to the page that has my favorite scripture on it and we'll start there. I actually am going to start doing a... Um, on Pinterest, I found a 21-day devotional about letting God in. So I think I'm going to start there with that devotional. And it's just every day for 21 days, it's a certain scripture that you're supposed to read and reflect on using the SOAP method, which is scripture, observation, application, and prayer. So you read the scripture, you... Um, Observe how it relates to your life, how then you talk about how you're going to apply it to your life, and then you say a prayer to help ask God to, you know, help you as you apply that scripture to your life. So that is what I'm going to be doing. And if I can find, um, I'll put a picture of that 21 day devotional up on the screen. If you guys want to go on that journey with me, um, excuse me, I need a sip of my tea.
And I got this mug from Ross, guys. Isn't it so cute? It says, my cup overflows with blessings. And it is so pretty, but I'm so mad that Ross, like, put stickers on stuff on the side of it. <sighs> Please don't do that, people. Please don't put sticky stuff on the side of people's merchandise. But I digress. All right, back to the Bible. <laughs> So I'm thinking that that may be something that I want to do on my channel, just as I'm doing the 21 day um, devotional to just do have that on my channel as well, like kind of like a tea time kind of thing where we just sip our tea, read our scripture, observe, apply, and pray. So let me know what you guys think of that in the description box below. So yeah, okay, and if you also hear like sloshing in the background, I have the dishwasher running and I'm in the kitchen, so just ignore it. <laughs> okay, but we're not gonna like go into like the whole Bible or start the devotional in this video. Um, I think I'm just going to start with highlighting and marking off. I also like that it comes with this little placeholder thing. I need to get like, um, a bigger bookmark kind of thing but that'll be for another time so I wanted to start with just highlighting and marking off my favorite passage in the Bible it starts at we're in Matthew chapter 6 and it actually starts with verse 25 um, and it actually has the little decorative piece over here where it talks about don't worry about tomorrow. And that's basically what my favorite passage is about. So that'll be what we are coloring today. Um, I'm going to read you guys the scripture and then we'll start coloring. So Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 says, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They do not plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable than they are? Can all of your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they are thrown and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Who do you have? Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what, are we, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. And your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and, and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. And then it continues over to verse 34. And says, don't worry. So don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble enough for today's trouble is enough for today. So, I'm sorry, it was like weird reading that because the print is kind of small and I'm trying to like read it at a distance and make sure it's still in the shot for you guys to see. So, yes, that is my favorite passage. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. So, I don't think I'm going to highlight the whole passage because it is pretty long. But, I mean, I guess I'll just do like the brackets. Right. And then I guess we'll highlight verse 34 since that's just like one sentence. Okay. 
Okay. So now, let's get to coloring. And I don't know, like I don't remember how I happened upon that scripture that it became my favorite, but it just, it has spoken to me in some times where I felt like the sky was falling and the God in my head was like, you are being so dramatic, calm down, I got this. Because there are times where I feel like, oh my goodness, I really can't handle this situation, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this, but I don't know, this passage always reminded me that God already has everything under control, no need for me to be flipping out because he's got it handled. That's one thing that I love about Tom Tom. Like, he hung around my mom so much that he, like, praying is ingrained in him. Like, any little thing, Tom Tom will go in prayer, in the quickness, and then just be as right as rain. Like, <laughs> I could hit a speed bump. Like, I could hit a pothole too hard. And next thing I know, I'll hear in the backseat, Father, in the name of Jesus, please help my mom to drive carefully and please help us to make it to our destination and make it home safely. In Jesus' name, amen. And then he'll go right back about his life. Like, everything is a-okay. Like, that's the kind of faith that I want to have. That childlike faith. The, you ask and you just know that it's going to get done. And you have no other further worries. But that boy prays about everything. Meanwhile, his mother is like, the ship is going down, son. <laughs> you may not know it, but I see it. The ship is going down and you are acting like nothing is happening. The more I look at Tom Tom, the more I realize what God means when he says that we're supposed to have childlike faith. Too many times as adults, we just let all the worries of the world and the realities of the world help us forget that God is all powerful and there's nothing in this world that is too powerful for him. All those songs we used to sing as kids in Sunday school about my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. I don't know what it is, but when we become adults, we forget. We forget that God is indeed about that life. And when he says something's going to get done, it's going to get done. We're the ones who worry. Drive ourselves crazy worrying about stuff that he already has under control. Alright, I don't want to mess it up, so we're going to stop with the red and move on to another color. Um, let's do greens, we can do the leaves. We'll just take all the other pops out of that. That'll be easier. to my channel is religious or not but if you are drop your favorite scripture in the description box below and i will definitely look them all up and read them and if you're not religious maybe hopefully as i'm going on this little journey something will speak to you I'm not trying to convert you i'm just sharing my faith that's all that is it, that's all. I'm not going to beat you over the head with my Bible. I'm just sharing my faith. But okay, I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to pray in my head and color. So y'all do the same. I finally stopped running now. With you I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way That joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face
life with you You want me now, I know you do I know you'll be impatient and I'll love you for that You show me how to dare to love So tell me what you're thinking of Cause I won't be afraid, not holding anything back
have colored our first page in my new Bible. And I must say, I kind of like it myself. It's so intricate. Like there's so many little lines and things that you can make different colors and whatnot. Like now I know why I never finished a coloring page in one of the adult coloring books because they're just so intricate. It's, it's relaxing, but at the same time, like the perfectionist in me just gets overwhelmed. So I always sit it down after a while, but this was just the right amount. So got it done. Do not worry about tomorrow. That is the mood of today. So that is my new Bible. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me for this unboxing. And listen, I am by no means a perfect person. If anyone tells you that they are perfect, baby, they lying to you. I am not a perfect person. No one is perfect. I fall short of the glory of God every single day. But I'm trying to get my life together. At the moment, I feel like my spiritual journey stands between like I'm half hood and half holy. So like pray with me, but don't play with me. Like, so I'm trying to get my life together. <laughs> I'm trying to lean more towards the holy side and like leave my hood ways in the past. But that's where I am right now. So hopefully as I dig more into this book, God will get me together so that I can be the person that he wants me to be, live the life he wants me to live, you know, all that good stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to leave me your favorite scripture in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Uh -oh.